Bye and thank you for watching. So for today's video, I am doing a very fall glam look that I love because this is my favorite season. I say that all the time, but I wait all year for fall and just like to bust out the dark lips and all that kind of stuff. I filmed myself getting this glam on. I've just been trying to film and figure out the settings of this camera and I've been very frustrated. So I have good news and bad news. I think that I got it. Like this setting looks perfect to me. The background is blurred. I think the coloring is correct, but I just figured figured it out now, like in post. I finished recording. I'm editing the footage and it's still kind of pink and the background wasn't as blurry. So I was like, what is going on? So I grabbed my camera and I set everything back to auto and I'm like, okay, this is perfect. So the footage is still a little pink, but I did figure out this camera, you guys. I'm really excited. So stick with me for future videos. They will look like this throughout. And then yeah, just doing this look, like I tell you all the products that I use and I do love this look. So I am glad that I filmed it and I'm so excited that I figured out these settings you guys I'm in such a good mood now like I am so happy to have figured this out I was really ready to just kick the bucket out of this camera okay <laughs> today we have a very glam look with a neutral smoky eye a very beautiful lip and then just a low ponytail with some face framers that I love if you want to see how I achieve this look and just bear with the footage guys it'll be perfect from now on stay tuned as always I'm just going to put some aquaphor on my lips I already straightened my hair the shorter they are the more they like move around and this morning I woke up and I looked like Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. So I did straighten those before I click record. You're welcome. <laughs> no nightmares for you tonight. I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. So I'm not doing my brows as dramatic as I did before. I got them microbited like weeks ago anyway. So the ink is quite fresh, but I just really don't want to do boxy brows anymore. Like I really want it to look like eyebrow hair. You know what I mean? Curling my baby little lashes, just because when I put false lashes on them, they go straight down right into my eyeball. When I put my lily lashes, lashes on it's like they get jealous and then they're like oh lily lashes fine we're going to stab you in the eye no thank you guys please behave today thank you i'm going to prime the eye with kkw beauty concealer this is in number five i don't think there's much product in these because i have not had this for very long and it's already running out this is a very good concealer though like i am really happy if you have like discoloration on your eyelids this will help cancel all that out so that your colors will just be the shadows i must say colored eyelids i think are so pretty when people have smoldering eyes you know they have those shades of like red and purple on their eyelids i think it's so pretty i'm just like one color quite flat did i show you this it's that season kind of i'm going to take mac soft brown with my sigma e35 and just apply this to the transition i think there's color on this brush this looks a little deeper than soft brown i'm going to take my sigma e40 and blend all of this there you go just so there's no harsh line that was a lot more concentrated than i thought something that's really important like no matter what tools you have whether you have sigma brushes or like expensive brushes or any other kind just use a really light amount of pressure you don't want the bristles to be bent see how it's like staying upright on the eye the shapes of the tip of the brush are very intentional so that's what you want to be blending with you know what i mean like this is how you should be blending. And then I like to hold the brush at the very end of the wand. See that? Now again with my E35, I am going to take MAC Saddle and do this basically the same thing, just a smidge lower, just to create like a little more depth. I like a very blown out transition shade. So like I like it to almost reach my brow bone in a lighter shade. And then as it goes near the crease, it just gets a little deeper and a little deeper with nice contrast, but no harsh lines. I want it to be very blended. I like to do my eyeshadow too with my eyes open because I like to see what it's going to look like when my eyes are open. I don't really care much to have like some fantastic makeup look that only looks good like this. MAC Swiss Chocolate. And I'm just going to take a Sigma E25. This is my short handle one on the outer corner right here. Just stamp that on. I'm just stamping that right on the outer corner with my other Sigma E25. I'm just going to blend that inward because I did stamp it. So it wasn't like blended. I don't like to blend with the same brush that I initially packed the color on. I just find if you try to blend with the brush that you initially applied, like you're going to pack it on and then move it around and then you'll be applying while you're blending. And that's not how you blend. Or you can use the Sigma E35. There's not much product on this one to make everything blended. I like to go in once, blend, 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 and then go in again just to pack the color. So it's most concentrated where I initially 
actually applied. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Okay, let me try again. <laughs> I like to go back in and then apply the color where I did initially because now that it's here, we also have this color blended out. So you have the best of both worlds. You have it blended and you have your concentrated color where you want it and then just blend up top all around here just so there are no harsh lines take my sigma e45 and mac round brown and some espresso just apply right here i like that depth right there that's what i'm talking about guys Ooh. and again we're going to blend all of this out i want it to look like my eye is so big that this is my outer corner it's not though Ooh, this is like exactly what i was going for i'm going to take the kylie number 16 brush and then those brown shades just to really pack the color right here on this crease of mine on this outer corner you know what okay so i really like dramatic makeup but i don't like dramatic like tv shows or anything like that i've never watched like the real housewives i don't really care to see people argue because they're, maybe their personalities are just not compatible or something. You know what I really like to watch? I really like to watch happy people. <laughs> One of my new favorites on YouTube is Nazanin Kavari, and I just love her family. They're so tight-knit and so sweet to each other. Like, that's the kind of stuff I like to watch. So I like dramatic makeup. Not dramatic, like, social interactions. I do really like House, though. It's a medical drama, so I feel like it's different because it's not like everyone's just arguing. They are working in a really demanding field, so I guess like that's okay. And then I just like love House's personality, so surprise, surprise, guys, Tom Ford. Okay, while my lash glue gets tacky on my lashes, I'm gonna apply some MAC Fascinating to the waterline. So I was like thinking about like how long it takes for my lashes to get tacky, like the glue. And I've been having this problem lately with my lashes just getting really wet because my eye is always wet. I might try it. A new glue so we shall see just waiting for the glue to get tacky of course i will let you know if i decide to deviate from this duo lash glue every morning when i get ready for work my eyes are so watery this one actually so when i'm trying to do like my makeup my eyeliner starts spilling everywhere my lashes will not stick to that inner corner I'll try anything at this point <laughs> The eyes are done for now. I'll come back and do the lower lash line when I finish my face. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. We'll do the Lancome. Lancome Tainted Oil in 415 Bisque Warm. I'm going to take more time on my foundation today. I find that I always rush this step and I think it's just because I'm used to trying to get ready for work in time. But today I have all the time in the world. This is the Sigma F50 Duo Fiber Brush. And I've been loving applying my foundation with this. When I put foundation like on my hand and then apply it like with the brush like this, I use more product. Like this already was one pump and I'm like only on half my face, but I think it looks a lot better, more like skin. If I just dot it onto my face, I can get away with one dot. I think it looks more cakey. Maybe because you have so much more product in one area, I'm not really sure. My hairline used to go down like this and I waxed it once and it never came back. Oh, maybe it was this side, because I can see some growing back in, like, just right there. So weird, though. I've never had it go back to how it was. Like, so much so, I don't even remember which side it was. This is KKW Beauty number 7 concealer. My beauty blender at this point is not that wet. I wet it before I even started my makeup, so it's like a little more dry, but I actually really like it like this. I don't like when it's like soaked and then I'm trying to do concealer. It does not blend correctly. If it's too wet, that's number seven. I'm going to highlight with number five. I love this step. This might be my favorite step. Pressing this highlight in. I talk about this all the time. I just think it's so glam. Like when I learned this step and how it can just brighten your entire face, I was so excited. Like this, I feel like is so glam. I'm getting product on my wings, but that's okay. Small price to pay to look this glam. When I used like all MAC makeup, my foundation was NC42 and my concealer was NW20. Like that's how big of a contrast I like. And then just make sure to press outward and inward it'll help avoid creasing so i'm going to set this right away with kkw beauty bay 2 
This also helps with creasing just to powder it right away. And again, my beauty blender is not wet, you know? It's not like you're making mud. I'm going to set the rest of my face with this Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. It smells like my favorite chocolate in the world. Have you ever had Violet Crumble? That is my, by far, my favorite chocolate in the world. They sell it at like regular chocolate shops too. I think it's called Sea Foam. That is my favorite, favorite. Whether it's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever. That's what that smells like, so. That's cool. I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. I'm going to warm up this face. I look a little ghostly right now, which is fine. It's spooky season. But when I do a dark lip, I want to look tanner. I just, I don't want to wash out my skin, you know? I like using like a dark, deep wine colored lip when I have a fresh spray tan or something, you know? Like I really want color in the face. I think it looks so glam. Pale skin can totally do dark vampy lips too. Like that is also so chic. For me personally, like I like to bronze up before I do a dark lip because it just suits me better, you know? Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze. This is in number six, quite dark. So I'm going to be very light handed with this guy. Contour, you know, that shadow right there. My version of HD isn't high definition. It's high dimension. I just love playing with shadow colors to create any kind of dimension on your face. I'm gonna bake with the Pro Filter Powder and Banana. This is a Fenty Beauty product. This stuff makes your contour look so clean. I'm gonna take MAC Costa Riche. Just apply this to the lower lash line. I like this. I feel like this is the same exact color of my eyeballs. And then I'm smoking this out with the MAC 219 brush with some saddle. I like to look in my mirror on my vanity. That's all I'm doing to the under eye. I think it looks like I did a lot, but I really didn't. For blusher, I'm just going to use Peach Twist by MAC. This is just perfect for fall too. This is the Chanel Rosy Gold Highlight. Let's wipe off this baking. Some Morphe setting spray. I love it because it's aerosol. So now I'm going to set my brows with the Anastasia Brow Gel. This is the clear guy. My neighbor just flushed their toilet and I remember when the realtor was showing us this condo that like, they flushed the toilet and he got really nervous like as if he thought that like I was expecting not to be able to hear that kind of stuff. I like that you can hear the neighbors you know like I like that there's life going on. I like that there are people existing around me and they're living. <laughs> I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics highlight in Fiji. This is what I like to do. I just like to shake it a little and then with this product on the lid this is what I use. So that's how I do that. Love that. Now I'm going to touch up my eyeliner finally. There's no more powders going on. So I'm just going to touch this up. Now for mascara, I'm going to do MAC Extended Play. I would really like to not get this on my skin today. I worked so hard on the face. <laughs> there. Oh, I did it. I am so bad at hair. Like just, uh, it's like hair. Like so long as it looks remotely good, like I don't really care to like learn too much about it. <laughs> Do I look like my eighth grade school picture because all these face framers are out? Like, I don't know. You're not supposed to have this many face framers. I cut them myself. Oh, I do know something. Bobby pins go in this way because the jaggedy part sticks to your hair. So actually I knew that. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I did Ipsy a couple years back, and this was one of the bags. How cute is this? I use this all year long. I'm just going to line my lips like regular. Kylie Cosmetics Souffle. I just don't have a darker lip liner. I think I'm actually going to fill in my lips too. Cindy agrees or disagrees? I love these lip liners. They are so creamy. Like what other lip liner can you like blot? And it goes on. So for my lip color, Kylie Cosmetics Clove. I started off applying it like really in here. This is my pet peeve when your like mouth color is showing through. I like to fill it in as best I can and then I always get it in my teeth. Do you guys want to like know things like about my teeth? I'll tell you. I have a dimple in my front tooth right here. I wonder if you can see it. Right there. I don't know why. It's just there. We had to remove my like four front teeth when I was 
maybe three or something. Way too early to remove your milk teeth. So that's why I have a lisp. And then on top of that, all four of these teeth, when they finally did grow in, when I was like 11 or something like that, they looked like clouds. When your teeth are growing in, they grow in like clouds. And then as you chew, wear them down a little bit, they turn like straight. I guess like I was trained not to use my front teeth because I didn't have them for so long. They looked still like clouds. They never got ground down. So the dentist actually straightened these out with a file. So he's like, Right there. And then this one, this one looks like it's chipped, but it's not. He just didn't want to file it down and then it would be like really short. Fun teeth facts, I don't know. I'm going to accessorize and then I think we are done. How do I feel like Lara Croft right now? <laughs> I don't even have a braid. This is the complete look that I love. I will be living in this probably all season long. <laughs> I think that ponytails don't translate well in the 2D world. I'm just really excited that fall is here. So yeah, I mean, I don't even know when it technically is here, but like it's September, so it's fall. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.